Very good. Very good. <laughs> the most antiquated things that we do when it comes to money, doing a budget on a spreadsheet. Everything's on an app now. What's crazy that we're still doing with money? It's just bonkers that my credit cards expire. I have a bank account that I can't close. That drives me absolutely up the wall. One thing that's definitely out of date is how remittances are handled. Sending money back and forth across borders. I wish there was an easier way to solve that. Every time I have to pay rent and I have to pay it with a check, there's no way that that should still exist. Transaction limits. Like, it's wild to me that you just can't transfer over a certain amount and you need to just, like, wait a day. We need to find a better way for people to be able to bridge the time between when they worked and when their paycheck comes. Taking out a mortgage. Like the amount of paperwork, oh, and then like reprint your paperwork, oh, and then get new paperwork. Some people I know call it the shoebox mortgage because you bring all of your printed out paperwork, you put it into a shoebox, you bring it into the bank branch. All of our financial services are online. It should be really easy for someone to get a perspective of who you are financially as a human being. We can make it instant. There can be a better network. Equal opportunities for everyone. It's been really hard to gain access to financial products, and that's one of the reasons that we started Plaid. Hello, and welcome to Threads 2023. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a lot of updates that we're very excited to share with you today. But before we look ahead, I want to take a moment to look back. We started Plaid 10 years ago, which has gotten us thinking quite a lot about the pace of change. When we founded Plaid, banking and financial services was still designed for a world that had never really envisioned the internet. And it's pretty remarkable how far we've come since then. Plaid started with APIs to make it easy for consumers to securely permission their financial accounts and to access new products and services. Now, one in three consumers in the US have used Plaid to connect their financial accounts, including more than half a million new connections per day across 12,000 financial institutions in 17 countries. We introduced identity verification to improve onboarding, and now we've verified millions of identities around the world. We introduced capabilities for underwriting and lending, and now we've enabled millions of people to verify their income and get faster mortgages, cheaper rentals, and easier auto purchases. We made it easier to fund accounts faster, and now we've helped power more than a billion ACH-based transfers in the last year alone across thousands of different applications. More than 8,000 applications have been built. Millions of people have been able to make their first investment, or found an easy way to pay their friends and families, or maybe applied for mortgages, or gotten easier, simpler peer-to-peer -peer loans. That's a seismic shift in just 10 years. We could not be prouder to work with all of you who have made all of that possible. But 2023 is a different time. 2023 is a time with a lot of change and a lot of uncertainty about what the future holds. 2023 also has a lot of potential based on the incredible speed of technological progress. When we look at the pace of change, we think a lot, not just about how we can move ourselves faster, but more importantly, how we can help you move faster. We want to empower you to onboard more users, to lower fraud, to speed up payments, all of this without increasing risk, and of course, to offer new products and services for your users. We think about all of these things from the perspective of how to get the best outcome for the consumer. With the belief that better outcomes for consumers mean better outcomes for you and more growth for all of us. Today, we're excited to introduce new network-based products which will help us solve many of the long-standing problems out there, like tackling fraud and managing risk. These problems have historically been very difficult for companies to solve alone. But through our network and working together, we can create meaningfully better digital experiences for consumers and meaningfully safer ones too. You see, Plaid has always been a network. On one side of our network, we have all the financial institutions that we integrate with. And on the other side, there are thousands of amazing financial applications that you all have built, from Chime to Copilot to so many more. But now the dynamics of our network are changing. It's getting more powerful. Our customers are now becoming data partners. Our data partners are now becoming customers as well. Every connected participant gives us more capability to improve the ecosystem for everyone. We believe that with the reach of the Plaid network, not only can we help you onboard more users at scale, but we can also help you identify and spot fraud faster. We can help you lower risk more accurately, and we can help you deliver instant pay-ins and payouts more seamlessly. The connections in the Plaid network provide signals that get more informed with more connections as you enroll more consumers. 
and we're gonna talk about some of these examples today. To help you onboard and acquire new users faster, our new Remember Me feature will allow returning users to securely fast track their identity verification during onboarding. To help you stop fraud from permeating, we're introducing a new product called Beacon, a fraud intelligence network, which will help you spot bad actors and fight fraud rings across the network. To help you move money faster, we'll talk about expanding Signal, which uses all the attributes that we see across our network to accelerate ACH payments while lowering risk. The way that these products work means that when you build with Plaid, the services you are using get better every single day without you needing to do anything at all. Throughout today, we're gonna to show you new products designed to help you move faster, solve long-standing problems, and ultimately to grow your business. So let's dive in. Hey, I'm Alan Meyer, head of identity at Plaid. Think of the last time you ordered something online and all it took was a quick tap and poof, you're at the end of the checkout process. It's one click, fast and easy. What if onboarding was just as easy as one click checkout? Let me show you what that looks like. We launched Plaid Identity Verification last year to help you onboard good users and reduce fraud with high accuracy through ID document verification, liveness checks, risk analysis, and anti-money laundering watchlist screening. Since then, we've added hundreds of customers across lending, wealth, prop tech, and banking. It's seamlessly integrated into Plaid with little to no integration work required for existing customers. It's so easy that some customers have gotten up and running in a matter of hours. People today are using three to five Plaid-powered apps to manage their financial lives. And so we're able to make onboarding faster and easier in a way that no other provider can. Starting today, Verified users through Plaid Identity Verification can fast-track onboarding when signing up for other apps in the Plaid network, delivering a seamless user journey. The best part? This new feature is free for all existing Identity Verification customers. Let me show you. Last year, we met Layla. She was just getting into fintech and discovering how much easier it was to do some of the financial tasks she normally dreaded. She opened an account with Ascend to start investing and received a personal loan through Zippy. While her experience signing up for both apps and verifying her identity was simple and easy through Plaid, Layla had to go through the entire verification experience from scratch for both apps. But our new Remember Me feature fast tracks these returning user experiences so they feel one click. Layla starts signing up with Ascend and is asked to verify her identity via Plaid identity verification. Instead of asking Layla to provide all of her identity information, we autofill it for her, making it super easy for Layla. She begins by providing her phone number and date of birth. Then, two things happen here. Plaid sends an SMS verification to confirm that Layla's in possession of the phone number linked with her identity. At the same time, Plaid is checking with sources like mobile network operators to ensure that there haven't been any risky changes to her phone line. With these checks complete, Plaid populates additional identity data such as Layla's address and social security number for her to review. Then, Layla breezes along to verify her ID document, uploading a picture of her passport card. In less than a minute, Layla is already done. But she sees an option to save her identity information with Plaid to speed up this process on future Plaid-powered apps. She simply checks the box and hits continue. Now, when Layla applies for a loan with Zippy, she's prompted to verify her identity via Plaid simply by entering her phone number. Based on this piece of information, we know that she has a saved profile. So just like before, we send a text to confirm she's still in possession of that phone. Once Layla completes the SMS verification, she sees her identity details she previously saved with Plaid. She reviews and confirms her data is accurate. And voila, Layla successfully verified her identity and she's on her way to apply for that Zippy loan without having to go through verification again. Now you can take advantage of the fastest identity verification experience on the internet, combined with top-notch security. With Plaid Identity Verification, customers' verification completion rates are consistently above 90%, with some customers seeing up to 50% improvement since switching to us from a previous provider. We estimate up to 20% in cost savings by streamlining onboarding, reducing overhead and time spent on KYC and anti-fraud. 
Over the last year, we've been working hard to improve conversion and lower fraud rates for you. I want to share some highlights. We added autofill. You heard this from the demo earlier. By helping users autofill their personal information, we've seen conversion improvements by 10%. Next, we completely overhauled our dock capture experience. A surprise visit from your cat in your camera frame? No problem. This all new capture experience improves conversion by guiding the user's capture window, optimizing image file sizes, and supporting more devices. We've seen verification success rates improve by 10%. New to the US? We now verify green cards and temporary ID cards like B1 and B2 visas, helping you verify and win new customers no matter what ID document they have. We've also added behavioral signals to help us identify risky behavior, fraud rings, and bots. You know your social security number, your phone number, your address. You can type that in your sleep, but fraudsters can't. Digital behavior like this is a powerful tell, if you can analyze it. We've added more signals to our risk engine to help us identify synthetic IDs or stolen IDs. These all run in the background to help you power anti-fraud without any work needed. You can now match the information your customers provided during the KYC step to the data on file with their financial institution just by checking a box. Point identity providers out there can't do that for you. So you may have verified that Layla is Layla, but she definitely shouldn't be pulling funds from her dad's bank account. And last but not least, we've added multilingual support and expanded internationally to help you grow in key markets. With Plaid Identity Verification, you can have an unmatched combo of security and speed. Access to our powerful risk engine that's constantly running behind the scenes to prevent fraud and the best performance out there that helps you onboard and acquire customers effortlessly. Now I'll pass it over to Michelle to tell you more about onboarding in the real world. I'm Michelle Boros. I'm a product lead on our credit team here at Plaid. Did you know that on average, people spend over two hours gathering paperwork for a loan? My sister was recently one of those people. She took out a car loan and needed to provide proof of income. Like a true millennial, she doesn't even own a printer. She had to drive 20 minutes in LA traffic to the nearest FedEx to print her documents. She ultimately got approved, but these are the daily reminders that loan applications have not caught up to modern expectations. Now, asking someone to print something is like asking them to send a fax. I've spent my whole career trying to improve lending experiences. In fact, a year ago, I was sitting on the other side of the screen as a Plaid customer. I was looking at ways to digitize the loan process by integrating Plaid products to receive income and assets information in a few seconds. No paper or manual uploads needed. But for many of you, without doing custom development work to build a consumer-facing app, it's been hard to take advantage of Plaid offerings. And so people are still stuck with their traditional approach to gathering information. Today, I'm excited to announce a fully hosted, on-demand Plaid Link experience starting with support for income and assets. You can now text or email your consumers a URL with Plaid Link so that they can verify their identities and share information directly from their bank account or payroll provider. So if your customers are out shopping for a car or looking for an apartment, you can now verify them on the go. Not only is it easier for your customers, it's actually easier for you too you'll be able to connect to Plaid with little engineering work required. Now, let's walk through what this looks like. Fast forward a few months, and we now find Layla thinking about buying a new car. She visits the local auto dealership and immediately sees the car of her dreams, a cherry red SUV. When the day started, Layla wasn't certain she wanted a new car, so she hadn't figured out how to finance it. Fortunately, the dealership partners with Elevance Loans, who uses Plaid to verify Layla's identity and provides personalized, competitive rates based on her bank account and income. Unlike my sister, Layla doesn't need to head to FedEx to print out her bank statements to qualify for the loan. 
Elevance can seamlessly kick off the verification process on the spot for Layla. As part of the loan application, Layla will need to share a summary of her finances and income to Elevance. To do this, Elevance sends Layla a text message where she can then access Plaid Link. With Plaid Link, Layla can connect her bank or payroll in seconds. When Layla selects her bank, she's redirected to their mobile app where she can use biometric identification, including her face or fingerprint, to log into the account. Layla is then taken back to Plaid Link to review what information she'll want to share with her lender, Elevance. Since Elevance is using Plaid's Assets API, they'll be able to receive access to Layla's account balances and cash flow history to use in qualifying her for a loan. The next step in Elevant's application is for Layla to verify her identity. Just like the new hosted link, identity verification already offers a hosted experience, requiring zero integration efforts to get started. And it's perfect for cases like this, where you may want to ask customers like Layla to verify their identities via text or email. When Layla taps on the link in the text message, She's taken to Elevance's identity verification experience with Plaid. And since Layla has a saved identity profile with Plaid from a previous session, she can take advantage of the one-click verification experience, Remember Me. Layla is able to quickly and securely review and confirm her saved profile to Elevance. It's as simple as that. You can now offer Link to consumers on the spot, allowing them real-time access to your services. It provides a seamless experience for consumers to share their data with no front-end development required. That way, you can focus on the decision-making rather than the data capture. Looking ahead, we will also be building a fully hosted lender dashboard to give you more ways to use Plaid lending products without needing to dedicate development resources. Starting today, our on-demand link option is available for those using Plaid assets or income with the goal to expand to other uses of Link later this year. Reach out and let us know how we can help you deliver instant digital experiences to customers in the real world. I'm here with Ruchika Gupta Truitt, the VP of product at Azuzu. Ruchika, I'm so excited to talk to you today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm a huge fan of Azuzu. I'd love to hear more about your mission. Our mission is to dismantle barriers to housing for working families. We have a vision that data can help us bridge the racial wealth gap in America. Today, there's 45 million Americans that are credit invisible, and that impacts people's everyday lives. It impacts their ability to get a car loan, a student loan, or potentially access to home ownership through a mortgage. And so we really want to focus on that particular problem. It really disproportionately impacts black and brown Americans in this country. To address that, we offer a suite of products and services focused on reporting rental payment history to credit bureaus. A lot of people don't realize that simply by doing the biggest payment that they usually make every single month that they can actually impact their credit score or establish it for the first time. We're addressing that through a suite of products and services focused on rent reporting, rent relief, and we also offer a marketplace where we're bringing trusted resources to residents. You said 45 million Americans are credit invisible. That's a staggering statistic. What are the common misconceptions about building a credit score? One of the biggest misconceptions is that people need to take on more debt in order to build their credit histories. Mm -hmm. At Asusu, we're more focused on helping people do the things that they're already doing in their everyday lives, which is paying rent on time and using that to help people build their credit scores, which then in turn enables them to access financial products or things that might help them in the future. Talk to us a little bit more about how you tailor your products and services at Azuzu to the communities that you serve. It's really important to us to be able to offer this service to any of the renters in the properties that we partner with. And so with rent reporting, it's available to anyone in that particular property. 
We also offer a rent relief program for people who might be experiencing financial shock to be there for them in a time of need. They can access our rent relief, which is an interest-free and penalty-free loan that they can pay back over time at their own choosing. And anyone can access that program because we really believe that if you're in a time of need, you should be able to access resources so that you can become financially stable. How do you measure impact? I would love to hear some stories. We're really focused on measuring impact and using our data and insights to show that people are actually making improvements. So today we've impacted over 1 million renters in all 50 states. We also help renters see the impact to their own credit score. We're building out a platform that residents can go in and see just by making their on-time rental payments, what has that done to their credit score, and then offer them access to other resources and educational materials so that they can start to think about other ways to improve their score in addition to paying their rent on time. This has been such a great conversation. I have one more question about financial inclusion. As the VP of product at Azuzu, what do you see next for the future? For CSU, I see this incredible opportunity to build off of what we've established so far to be able to help people in their financial journey and really support them in their goals for their future. So we plan to build off of this foundation that we've established by providing trusted resources to residents and renters, offering them access to products and services that they might not have gotten otherwise, and hopefully eventually building towards helping individual renters establish home ownership if that's something that they like to do. Personally, I think there's a lot of opportunity for us to use the data that we've been gathering to help lenders and institutions see that it's not just one way to establish somebody's credit score. There's not just one way to prove that you're credit worthy. And there's all these other data points that are really valid in determining if we should lend to somebody or not. These simple actions are making a huge improvement in people's everyday lives. We've Heard lots of stories about individual renters who've been able to establish a credit score for the very first time and then go on to access something like a car loan or even go on to access something like a home mortgage and be able to move into a home after renting for many years. We love to hear those stories at Asusu and that's what motivates us to keep doing what we're doing. This has been amazing. I know I speak for everybody at Plaid when I say I cannot wait to help you reach more people. Thank you again for being here, Ruchika. Hello, everyone. My name is Sheila Jambakar, and I'm the Chief Privacy Officer at Plaid. So I've been going to this one coffee shop for years now because I trust the quality of their coffee. I feel respected and safe when I talk to the baristas and other people who I run into when I go there, which is why I go back again and again. And that's exactly the feeling we want to provide consumers as they navigate the world of digital finance, building trust so that they can continue to come back again and again to your apps and services. Trust in the digital world has multiple components— reliability, security, and of course, near and dear to me, privacy. But particularly crucial in financial services, trust also includes knowing someone is helping watch out for and protect you from bad actors. There is nothing like fraud to break that trust for both consumers and all of you. That's why over the last decade, we've not only made information sharing safer and easier between consumers and fintechs, We've also led the industry with meaningful controls and ecosystem management tools that allow consumers to decide where, when, and by whom their data is being used. One example of this is Plaid Portal. We've also recently added data transparency messaging to help consumers make informed decisions as they connect to apps and services. All of this is in service of building a future where financial services work for consumers where those consumers not only benefit from having access to more and better financial services, they're also able to navigate those choices through a safer, more trusted network that supports their digital financial lives. Yet there's still more work to be done to realize this vision. So hear me out. A third of Americans today have experienced some type of identity theft at some point in their lives. 
The Federal Trade Commission recently reported that consumers lost nearly $9 billion last year to various fraud schemes, a 30% increase from the previous year. And when someone steals your identity, they not only use your personal information to sign up for one service, they use it over and over again, and as long as they can. This is troubling both for consumers and for all of you. The last thing you want is fraud on your platform that breaks trust with your customers. Working together, we can make progress to reduce the power of fraud rings by stopping instances of repeat fraud. Because of the sheer size and scale of Plaid's network, we're better positioned than any other provider to help companies like yours tackle these challenges. To tell you more about how we're thinking about this, here's Alan. When you, a California native, get an invoice claiming that you just bought $200 worth of Beanie Babies in Estonia, that means one of two things. Either your identity has been stolen, or you have a unique taste in collectibles that we can both appreciate. Nine times out of 10, though, it's identity theft. For consumers, most of the time, you wouldn't even know this happened in the first place. And even if you did know, all you can do is call companies one by one playing whack-a-mole. And you can't call every company in the world. But it's not only a game of whack-a-mole for consumers. It's the same tiresome game for businesses, too. You're spending money and time building versions of the same fraud programs that everyone else has, yet seeing the same fraudsters as those other businesses, again and again. The problem is that fraud is like a chain reaction. One successful fraud attempt leads to another, and it just keeps going. It's no surprise that an estimated 84% of fraud comes from repeat offenses. The reality is, no individual company can solve this alone. That's why I'm very excited to introduce you to Plaid Beacon, our new fraud intelligence network. With Plaid Beacon, we want to take a network approach to solving fraud by offering a new way for digital finance companies to share and report critical fraud data, including instances of stolen or synthetic IDs and account takeover. Let me show you how this works. Elevance Loans uses Plaid Beacon to see if users are associated with fraud on other apps across the Plaid network. Today, Elevance sees a potential flag from Beacon regarding Layla's identity data. Let's investigate. What you're looking at is a Beacon report for Layla's identity information. It looks like there are fraud reports associated with the provided name, social security number, and address. We can dig into each fraud report shared with Plaid. Here, we see that identity information was stolen. While Beacon never shares identity information itself or the name of the company that made the fraud report, you can see key details like the industry of the company and when it happened. In this case, we see that Layla's name and parts of her social security number were reported by another lending platform on the Beacon network, with an instance of someone using Layla's identity information to commit identity fraud. When you pair Beacon with Plaid Identity Verification or your in-house verification system, Beacon helps you identify and weed out fraudsters repeatedly targeting your company by detecting duplicate accounts. Beacon checks to see if Layla's data has already been used to sign up for an account. It looks like fraudsters have tried to use her information a couple of times. To ensure that Layla is who she says she is, and not someone who's stolen her identity like they have in the past, Elevance asks Layla to go through a step-up verification. It's just one extra step for Layla but it helps limit the abuse of her identity information across the ecosystem. Layla passes this additional verification. Now, Elevance can finish evaluating her loan application using the information that Layla provided earlier when she connected her bank account. The good news is, Layla is approved for the loan to buy the car of her dreams. With Plaid Beacon, we've built a fraud intelligence network that helps every business combat fraud while also helping every consumer who's had their identity information stolen. Because of the size and the scale of the Plaid network, we can help stop the chain reaction of fraud that continues to make headlines across financial services. Let's leave whack-a-mole to the carnivals and focus on building great products for consumers everywhere. Today, we have a number of partners who are part of our network. I'm excited for many more of you to join Plaid Beacon, and I look forward to working with you. 
Now, I'll introduce you to John Anderson, our head of payments. Hey, I'm John Anderson, head of payments at Plaid. You do all this work and make all this investment to acquire your users. And now, the single most important thing is to deliver what they came to your app for in the first place. It's funding their account, paying out the loan that they worked so hard to apply for, or making their first trade. So today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how our multi-rail payment stack can help you safely move money faster. Not only is that speed what consumers demand, it's transformational to your business. If users who signed up can immediately fund and start using your service, it makes a massive difference to your adoption, activation, usage, and ultimately to your profits. Our multi-rail payment stack offers flexibility and choice to help you move money fast. Plaid Transfer allows you to move money, often with zero-day holds. We make it easy to work with your existing provider. We have partnerships with over 50 leading processors. We are fully integrated with the instant settlement rails via open banking in the UK, Germany, France, and 12 other European countries. Now let's turn to the underlying infrastructure that enables all this to happen, starting with ACH, the method most widely used today. ACH usually requires this really stark trade-off. You can accelerate funds and give your customers instant access, or you can make customers wait days for that ACH to clear. But waiting for the funds to clear doesn't just mean a delay, it means churn. That's why last year we launched Signal to allow so many of you to safely avoid the need for a typical three to five day ACH hold period. With Signal, we've helped customers protect over $2 billion per month, $2 billion. Customers are moving money faster and they're doing it while reducing fraud. To give you an example, Uphold, a crypto trading platform, saw 73% reduction in losses to fraud, while also unlocking instant ACH for over 80% of their transactions. They did this using Plaid Signal. When Signal was first launched, our solution was best suited for companies with deep risk expertise and a dedicated team of data scientists to build risk models based off of Signal data. Every company deserves a best-in-class risk assessment. We want to allow you to analyze the risk like a data scientist without needing to dedicate one. Today, I'm thrilled to announce that we're making Signal available to everyone. Now, Signal includes a dashboard to help you assess and configure the right risk thresholds for your business in real time. On the homepage of the dashboard, you'll see an overview of your ACH operations, things like return codes, return rates, and other important trends. You can use the performance view to see bank-initiated scores and to help you configure your risk thresholds. And then, during your manual review process, you can look deeper into a specific transaction and assess the risk. There, you can see a breakdown of attributes that contributed to the score, including things like returns, successful connections with Plaid, or recent address changes. Now, like Beacon, Signal becomes more powerful as the network grows. Feedback loops and return data from all across the Plaid network all come together to contribute to our risk models. And that's why we're adding new features within the dashboard to make it easy for our customers to label and submit feedback. Now with Signal, we've been able to make ACH behave instantly for so many of our customers, but we're not stopping there. Here in the US, new rails are coming online with the promise of delivering faster payments. These include real-time payments, RTP, and very soon, FedNow. Our goal is to help you connect and manage this new multi-rail environment. In fact, we recently launched Instant Payouts, which uses these new rails to allow you to intelligently send money instantly. Instant Payouts is a powerful way to do right by your customers and pay them faster. Whether you're paying workers, helping customers move money from their investment account, or sending out a loan payment or insurance claim. So, whether you want to use your existing payment processor, EU Open Banking, ACH, or move money instantly with RTP, we got you covered. Our multi-rail payment stack can help you reach your goals. And all the while, we're delivering a consistent and high converting front end experience through Plaid. 
first interaction with money? Um, when I was like six or seven years old, my mom opened a like a kid's bank account for me. Um, my grandmother gave me this little tiny piggy bank. It was actually like truly a pig and it was actually pink. I'm sure I never had more than a couple dollars in it. I had a piggy bank and would use that to buy my toys when I was a little kid. Oh, my first memory involving money. My dad had a jar and he had um, you know, different coins that he would throw in the jar at the end of the night. So it was just a coin jar. Uh, first interaction with money was... One of my first early memories with money was earning my pocket money and deciding to build a really aggressively large treehouse. And I could never quite get all the money together, but I was definitely excited about this huge dream I had. We had a little lemonade stand. We were trying to make money for some candy for an event. We didn't make a lot of money, but we made some money. I grew up in Wisconsin and we had this garden and it had an electric fence around it. Every year, my dad would pay me 50 cents to test the electric fence. First interaction with money. Oh, I think my my first proper interaction with money was just when I got lunch money to give it to the to the lunch lady in, in school. And I remember that very fondly. Hi, I'm Ashley Cornell, product manager on payments. I've been at Plaid for over three years, and a big part of my career here has been building products that allow people of all backgrounds, from people with nine to five jobs to freelancers and gig workers, to verify their income so that they can apply for loans, apply for a credit card, or even qualify for a rental property. If you can't already tell from my ambiguous accent, I moved here from New Zealand seven years ago. And when I first arrived, I didn't have a credit history, and that sometimes made managing my money complicated. I remember signing the lease for my first apartment in San Francisco and having to buy furniture and pay a big deposit, but also needing to wait weeks for my paycheck to arrive. If I could have waved a magic wand to get access to the money I'd already earned faster, I'd definitely have done it. So that's why today I'm excited to talk about a new feature we launched called Instant Payouts via Plaid Transfer. With Instant Payouts, you can now offer consumers the ability to receive their recently approved loan, their hard-earned wages, or their insurance payout as quickly as possible, using both real-time payments and same-day ACH rails. Instant Payouts are available 24-7. That means weekends and even after hours, which means the consumer receives their money in seconds, not in minutes or days. And for you, that means offering a multi-rail payments experience without any additional technical work. So let me show you how it works. It's now been six months since Layla drove off in her cherry red SUV. She's having the best time and recently picked up some extra work as a driver for the ride-sharing app Magic Rides. The extra income is helping Layla with her loan payments and to put aside money for her savings. Magic Rides offers an experience that's optimized for gig workers so that they can get their hard-earned wages paid out when they want, especially when bills are due. With Magic Ride's competitors, their gig workers often have to pay a premium to receive their money instantly, costing them between 0.5 to 3% of their wages. Using Plaid, Magic Rides can now offer instant payouts to their users. And since Layla's bank is part of the real-time payments network, Plaid confirmed when she first connected her account to the Magic Rides app that she was eligible for instant payouts. And soon, instant payouts will include dynamic fallbacks. So although in this case, real-time payments was the best way to pay Layla, if it weren't, Transfer would automatically choose ACH instead. Now, one of Layla's car payments is due next Monday. However, her regular direct deposit won't be available until the following Friday. Since she's been doing weekend gigs, her Magic Rides account balance is quickly adding up. Now she's able to cash out her Magic Rides balance instantly to help cover the car payment. Layla sees the payout immediately arrive in her Ascend bank account, so she can keep up with her loan payments. Now, we can help take care of the back-end complexities of multi-rail payments while you offer payments experiences that meet consumer needs effortlessly. Reach out to us and let us know how we can help accelerate your products with our multi-rail payment stack. Hi everyone, I'm Jean-Denis Grez, CTO here at Plaid. Today, 
we've taken you through how you can safely and securely onboard more users and activate them at scale. Together with Plaid, you can now fast track onboarding with identity verification. You can lower fraud with Plaid Beacon. You can offer on-demand customer experiences with Link. And finally, you can accelerate payments with Signal and instant payouts. Every single product we discussed today is in service of helping you onboard and activate more users faster and safer with a Plaid network. More financial institutions, more apps, more end users, better financial outcomes for consumers. That is the power of the Plaid network. And it's how we uniquely deliver what matters the most to you. Conversion. Conversion that is up to 15% higher than anyone else. And as our network grows, Plaid will continue to pull ahead, providing better conversion and unique features for all of you. That's conversion and features that come with the size and the scale of our network. Conversion and features that are unparalleled. Now, best-in-class conversion also requires an endless focus on every single detail of account connectivity. So I want to talk a bit about those details. We know that every percentage of conversion is so important to you, allowing more consumers to benefit from the tremendous value of your products. And so conversion, it is the metric we live by at Plaid, just like you do. Let me share a few highlights of things we've been doing to help you reach even more consumers. To make sure that consumers can reliably and securely connect their financial accounts to your apps, we focus on two things, coverage and quality. Today, over 12,000 financial institutions are on Plaid, and increasingly, we know that your customers' finances are not limited to what's in their bank accounts. So we've been focused on expanding our network coverage to include connectivity with fintechs and crypto companies. In fact, we've added new providers like Wise and Monzo to our network over the last few months. Beyond this, we've also expanded our ID document and payroll coverage. We support over 16,000 ID documents globally and 85% of consumer payroll connections. On quality, a vast majority of our traffic today is on OAuth or bank APIs. In fact, we recently partnered with Okta to help accelerate OAuth adoption across our data partners. And to extend connectivity to consumers who bank with local credit unions and community banks, we've launched Core Exchange, which makes it easy for those institutions to add API access to their services. We know how important it is to you that every consumer can connect to your app regardless of where they bank. Now, why does all of this matter? Right? Conversion isn't simply about the number of supported connections, right? It's just as much about the quality of the data that supports your use cases across payments, lending, financial advice, and a whole lot more. We've also evolved Link to provide a more seamless app-to-app -app experience, more intuitive institution search, and better accessibility through biometric verification. Each of these enables more consumers to adopt your apps, your products. Let's take app-to-app, -app, which allows users to connect their bank account without having to enter their credentials. 10 to 15% more consumers successfully connect their bank accounts when it's enabled. That is huge. And lastly, we continue to invest in meaningful privacy controls and privacy tools like the Plat Portal and clear, transparent consent flows in Link. Trust is paramount to the success of our ecosystem. The more trust Plat can continue to build with consumers, the more those consumers come back to your apps, to your services, again and again. All of this is why you partner with Plaid. Everything we've talked about today, the Plaid network, incredible products, consumer trust, all of it culminates in the recent data point I am most proud of. 
one of the top five banks in the United States, recently tested us head-to-head -head against other options. And they found that Plaid converts 23 percentage points higher than the nearest competitor. 23 percentage points. That's 23% more users successfully activated on your apps. That's 18% lower customer acquisition costs. That is miles ahead of everybody. The numbers speak for themselves. When you partner with Plaid, you have access to the most powerful and the most expansive network there is. And it is the breadth of that network that allows us to deliver unique, differentiated products to all of you. Like Remember Me for Plaid Identity Verification, or Beacon and Signal to help you lower fraud and risk. Unparalleled conversion, unique products, consumer trust. That is the power of the Plaid Network. What am I most excited about that's coming on the horizon? I think it's really, really neat to see financial literacy being taught and used and experimented. I think it's all about giving consumers more and more choice. Actually adopting the tech that everyone's been building for the last few years, uh, like real-time payments. I'm excited to see people's willingness to open up their minds around credit building. Rethinking lending being about can people pay it back? as opposed to some sort of social score that we can't really understand, which means they get access to capital, which means they get access to the American dream. There's a ton of apps that are building products for really specific niche communities, for parents or for teens. And I'm really excited to see those change people's lives over the next few years. Hello everyone, my name is Eric Sager and I'm the CEO of Plaid. I'm here with Arun Moktasada, who is the CEO and co-founder of Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Arun, welcome. Thanks for having me. Um, you have an amazing founding story. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. After our first startup, um, which was webs.com, which we sold to Vistaprint, um, my brothers and I got back in the basement, literally the basement of my brother's house, and started tossing around ideas of what we wanted to do next. And um, we called it the floundry, and the idea was to flounder and fail very quickly on ideas until we found something that we liked. Um, and we just started with problems that, that you know, we thought were worthy of solving. And so I had been thinking about subscription cancellation for a long time and how it's really hard to manage your subscriptions and keep track of them and stuff like that, and was really frustrated. There was nowhere you could go to see all of your subscriptions. And you know, all of us had multiple credit cards, and it just became really difficult to track. And I was like, this would be so awesome to do automatically, but it's really hard to do bank linking. I'm like, we're like, who's gonna, how are we gonna connect to all these banks and get people's transactions, stuff like that. So I was like, forget it. Cause getting the MVP out there is just gonna take too long. We're gonna build all this technology just to find out the thing doesn't even work. And um, my brother Dries was like, huh, funny you say that. I was like, why? He's like, well, uh, there's a new startup called Plaid, and um, they do this bank linking thing. And and by the way, I just wrote all this code for it last week because I was working on another idea, so I have the whole thing working already. And I was like, what? So we quickly linked our accounts up. Um, I think we were like user number six or something, literally. And um, we linked our accounts up, downloaded our transactions, stuck it in a spreadsheet, and wrote a quick model to find our subscriptions. And all of us found subscriptions that we were paying for that we didn't want to. So for me, I was paying $40 a month for a security system on a home I had moved out of. And I was just still paying every month because I had forgotten about it. That was the kind of the light bulb moment where we're like, huh, like maybe there is something to this thing. Like we all found stuff that saved us money and um, you know, Truebill was born. You were one of Plaid's first customers and in many ways, both our companies grew up together. What are the major memories you have of those early days? Yeah, look, it was easy to set up, but I just remember the early conversations like, hey, can you guys can please fix Link? Or, hey, this is a really important bank. Like, can you please get it working? Um, but you guys have come so far since then, and it's been incredible to kind of be on that journey with you. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. There are a lot of PFM apps out there. How does Rocket Money stand out, and how has Plaid helped you do that? Obviously, it wouldn't have been possible without Plaid because Link sits at the core of what we do. Um, it, it makes everything automated. Otherwise, you'd have to do the whole thing manually. What we did differently was we tried to really focus on what is the problem. And the way we identified the problem is we used to know where our money went and now we don't know where our money goes. Now, why is that? Well, we used to pay in cash 
um, where we used to write checks and balance our checkbook. And then we went to swiping, but then we got statements and we'd look at those in the mail. Then we went to paperless. Then we went to card on file. When you're not even swiping your card anymore, money is just kind of coming out of your account. So that's what we identify as the problem. That's why, otherwise, why would you pay for a subscription that you don't want anymore, right? So the solution then was, how do we remove the veil um, that's now between people and their money? And so we used the data that came in from Plaid and then built visualizations on top of that that helped people naturally make good decisions again with their money. So we never said, hey, this, you should cancel the subscription. We just said, here are your subscriptions. It was the first time that people could just see like a full list across all their accounts of where their money's going, what they're paying for. Or, hey, here's a pie chart of where, like, how you're spending your money and here's how it differed from last month. Or here's a P&L. Like, people have never seen a P&L. Like, here's my inflows and my outflows, you know? And like, how much am I actually saving each month? So um, these things, uh, just you would think that we should have had them a long time ago and we didn't. And so we worked really hard to make that happen. And then we took one step further, and this really separated us from everybody else, which is, okay, so now you see a behavior that needs to be changed, like there's a subscription you don't want anymore. We said, well, what if we help them cancel it rather than them having to go figure out how to cancel it? And so we went through the arduous process of figuring out across thousands of subscriptions how to cancel each one, and we built a, a massive team um, to go and cancel the subscription for you. So now, I see something, I don't want it, I need to make a change, we do it for you. Or, hey, this bill looks too high, we will help you lower it. Or, you should put more money in savings, we can set up a savings account to do that. And many of Plaid's products made that possible. So whether it was the link stuff and the categorization data that came in, whether it was auth and being able to get people's um, ACH numbers so that we could move money into savings, um, all of these things were hugely important for us to be able to do any of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, that really is what makes it such an amazing kind of customer experience. It's the, it's the awareness and kind of the, the transparency to kind of understand what, what, what's, what, is, what is happening in my account. And then it's making it easy to take action against that. Yeah, and so we call it PFM Plus. And so the plus is the part beyond that where we actually service and take actions on behalf of the customer. Yeah, I mean, that's a fantastic combination, right? Like generate the awareness and then make it really, really easy. Yeah. For the customer to yeah, and then the app started paying for itself at that point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there like a specific product breakthrough, like in terms of making that making that happen? Honestly, I think uh, we used several of Platt's products to make this work, right? So you had you had Link, um, but it was really important that we could deliver value to the customer very quickly. And um, the way your API worked, it actually broke it into two um, different calls. So there was the historical that gets like maybe two, th two, three years of data. But we would also get, you know, 30 days of transactions very quickly. And so what that let us do is quickly present what we could of the subscriptions we know immediately after the user gets through onboarding, for example. Um, and then there were other features like auth that then let us help move money because we could get to their ACH and help them move money to savings accounts and stuff like that. It was not one single thing, but it was kind of the stringing together of these different features. We took Plaid's categorization and layered our own kind of uh, mapping on top of that. Um, and so we were really creative, like, okay, what do we have available? And then how do we kind of want to process that and use it in a special way kind of inside of Truebill? So from a consumer's perspective, you could literally sign up for the app, see the history of transactions, and then immediately take action all in the very first time you're interacting with. Yeah, and more than just the history of transactions, but like identifying these are your recurring ones, you know, these are the ones that are standing out, and, and this is where your money's going, and kind of all of that. Six years and five million customers later, you've come a long way. Congratulations. Um, like Plaid, you've always been very focused on onboarding. Can you talk a little bit more about how you've been able to build a best-in-class onboarding experience for your customers? Yeah, so we didn't know it originally because mobile was kind of new when we were getting into it, um, or at least mobile-first apps. Um, and it's not intuitive, although now it makes sense looking back. But we actually realized that there was almost more leverage in onboarding than anything else we could do in the app. And the reason that is because that's the only time 100% of your users are seeing it, right? Because there's some drop off after onboarding, obviously. And so that became a critical experience. And every percentage point improvement there was a percentage point improvement kind of across the board because you've got all of those users that would otherwise drop off and you'll never see them again. We built a whole 
A-B testing engine and always have tests going on with onboarding, usually multiple tests. Um, and I know Plaid does too, actually. And so one of the first experiences that users get is to link their bank accounts. And so we've tested the screens leading up to that. We've tested that screen itself, obviously, about, hey, this is why you should do it. What safety messages, what safety messages should we include, should we not include? And then Plaid themselves has built a really awesome link experience by putting in that effort and making that a really great experience. It kind of removes one of these barriers that the customer has is like, is this thing going to work for me? And when they see their account is linked and it feels secure and it works, they're now like in a mind frame, they're like, oh, wow, like this thing might actually do the thing that I didn't think it was going to be able to do. And it's kind of like a light bulb goes off and it's an aha moment for them. And um, we ended up creating, you know, I think one of the best onboard experiences, you know, possible and, and it made a big difference. Yeah, I mean, the onboarding experience definitely is, is very, very seamless. Um, and I agree. I mean, something that we are just like, obviously together, but just from a, from a plot perspective as well, just maniacally focused on is constantly kind of making sure we're making every little possible improvement because we know how important it is to kind of nail that at the very beginning. Yeah, for sure. Besides some of the experiences, or some of the improvements in Link, are there any other big improvements that you feel like Plaid made over the years that really stand out to you? For us, it wasn't even improvements. It was like none of these products existed and then you'd slowly roll them out. Um, and as soon as you did, we would start using them. Um, and so um, the first one, for example, was a refresh. So like you could do live refresh and that became one of our first premium features where we'd have a button called sync and it would like live sync your data. And you know, people started converting because of that and that helped us kind of um, improve our premium model. But there's other ones. So Auth, I don't think people understand how much of the entire FinTech industry was driven because you guys did Auth. Um, it was before that, you, to get ACH numbers, you would have to do like microtransactions. Uh, and that's like a, you know, it's a, it's a multi-day process. The drop off was, was probably, I don't know, 50, 60, 70% for many apps. And here you go to drop off a zero, basically. Like they put in their username and password and then you get the ACH numbers um, or the Stripe token. And so that was phenomenal for, for many businesses, for ours and others um, to enable you know, those types of products. The other one was balance checks. We thought about, okay, how can we use this? And we move money for people. Either we're billing them or we're putting money into savings accounts. And we also have a lot of people who are paycheck to paycheck. And so overdrafting becomes a problem because of the, del the delay. And so we spent a lot of time figuring out how do we use balance checks to reduce overdrafts. And so we could check a person's balance before doing an ACH transfer, make sure there's enough buffer there based on kind of prior spending habits and stuff like that to make sure that we then don't overdraft them. We probably saved people a lot of money from overdrafts that way. Oh, you've definitely saved people a lot of money. Um, I know I, I mean, we've obviously seen that across the industry and we've seen other folks follow your lead to kind of try to implement balance in the, in the same way to kind of help consumers save money across all those types of use cases. Any upcoming opportunities you're excited about tackling with Plaid? Well, you know, one, one place that's going to be interesting is money movement and, you know, figuring out how to, how to, okay, now that a person's account is connected, what else can you do? And so one is money movement. Um, and then the, the other thing is, um, you guys are starting to get into more credit underwriting kind of tools. And as we think about our future, we just launched um, a credit card called the Rocket Signature Visa Signature Card um, and, uh, and other things like Rocket Loans that we have. You know, these are all areas that we hope to collaborate on in the future. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of here without talking about AI at least a little bit. That's right. Um, what's your perspective on that in terms of how you think that will kind of impact um, not just what you're working on, but kind of what you could potentially kind of work on or what we could potentially work on together? Yeah, look, I, I think um, both of our companies are going to be transformed with AI, just like many, many companies out there. Um, you know, Plaid has always been good at taking raw data and then adding sort of additional context to that data. And generative AI, I think, opens up that opportunity even further. Um, so, so we're looking forward to that. And hopefully you're not going to make every fintech out there do that work you know, you can do that and expose it so that we don't all have to build that. Um, I don't think that many people have asked, hey, are, you know, is there just going to be like a money GPT or like, you know, chat GPT for your finances? I don't think that that's like the replacement or a replacement for rocket money. Um, I think that you still, when you go through your finances, um, visualization and charting and 
being presented information is a better user interface than having to ask because most people don't even know what questions to ask. And so it's, it's what we're doing is actually telling people, hey, this is the stuff you actually need to care about. Most people don't even know that. And I tell people like, use this as you know, a free school where you get to learn about AI and you're allowed to spend time trying to figure that out. And then I myself, maybe selfishly or not, I create a little Skunk Works team so that I can just start building fun stuff. I mean, again, it's all in the spirit of trying to make it easier, right? You give awareness sure. to consumers, you want them to be in control, but then you want to be, make it easy for them to be able to kind of take the right. action that they want to take so they can just you know, live a better life. Totally. You're a prolific angel investor with over 100 investments, and you talk to entrepreneurs quite a bit. What advice do you have to folks kind of starting their own business who are hoping to emulate your success? Yeah, I mean, I think first it's important to frame problems really well, like take the time to frame the problem that you're trying to solve. And like I tell, there's a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, or, or people who are interested in entrepreneurship come and say like, where should I start or what should I do? And I always say like, just start with a problem that you think is a problem that bugs you or bugs someone you know, and try to go and figure out like, how do you solve that? And then usually if you solve a problem, there's some business model that you can figure out after that. The other thing is, I think it's really important just thinking about like, what do you actually want at the end of the day? And so you might build a business because you want financial freedom, but then spend the time to figure out, well, if you have the financial freedom, then what, what would you want to do after that with that financial freedom? And then you might be able to have a startup or a company that, that does that thing also, and then it can be fun the whole time. Um, and rewarding the whole time. So either it's a mission that you care about and you're doing that, or you're trying to make money, which is also fine, but then that should be in furtherance of some future mission. And I think in the world that we're headed, figuring out kind of where our meaning is, where we find meaning in the world is gonna become a more um, interesting challenge. Because in the past, whatever, tens of thousands of years, it's just been about subsistence. And like, can we get enough food? And can we like not get eaten by lions and things like that? Um, and you know, then we got fire and we had a little more time and then we could get agriculture, we got more food. But now it's like, you know, we really, I think, are going to start entering into an age of abundance in which like just providing is not gonna be the thing anymore. And like humans are gonna have to figure out where their meaning really is. That's a really inspiring answer. For those entrepreneurs or business leaders considering Plaid, what do you think they should know? At its core, Plaid has always been focused on the developer and has made that process really great and simple for our engineers. So our engineers, you know, we'll hear about a new product, we'll get beta access, and they can start writing to it really, really quickly. So it's always been like really easy to implement things. That's one piece. And then fundamentally though, and I remember when we were kind of decisioning, we're like, right, we're gonna hang our hat on a company. Do we wanna hang our hat on the company that's kind of like the best today or the one that we think will be the best in the long run? And we decided the answer needed to be the second one and we picked Plaid and we were right. Um, because I think fundamentally the mentality at Plaid has been really supportive and um, you guys have stayed very close to kind of your core and your roots. Um, I think a lot of other companies, they go, they go and try to expand and go do other things or get into like data selling or kind of, you know, other things like that. And I think Plaid has just been like laser focused on like, how can we continue to help these fintech companies uh, and banks and other people kind of grow their own businesses? And how can we support them? And, and then we can share, you know, in the win. Haroon, thank you for coming. Um, I really enjoyed the conversation and I appreciate you making the time to join us here at Threads 2023. Thanks. It's been great working with you guys. As we wrap up, I first and most importantly want to say thank you. Thanks to everybody that joined us today. We hope that the updates we've shared will help you meaningfully grow your business, onboard more users, lower fraud, and offer faster and safer digital finance experiences. Together, we've spent the last decade making digital finance possible. It's an honor to have been your partner in the journey so far. Now, it's time to make digital finance more powerful. Our door is always open. We wanna hear your ideas, your feedback, your challenges, your opportunities, we want to hear it all so that we can do even more to help you grow in the coming months and in the coming years. That's it for Threads 2023. Thank you again.
Today, we've taken you through how you can now safely and securely onboard more users and activate more users and activate them. Today, we've taken you. So warm and cuddly, that guy. Yeah. Look at him, he's wearing black. Now we can help take care of the back end complexities of the. Sorry, scroll back up. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Threads. Thank you for joining us. We're so excited to have you here. There's nothing on the prompter, so I don't quite know what to say yet. <laughs> Means that you can build with Plaid the services you are already getting better every day. I can't understand what that's saying. <laughs> Today, <we're laughs> our role is to harness the immense pace of change to deliver outstanding products to you. <laughs> Today, I'm thrilled to announce that we are expanding signal availability. <laughs> Today, I'm turning 13. Okay. Now I'll pass it over to Michelle. Now I'll pass it over. Now I'll pass it over Mich to Michelle to teach you more. Why is this one so hard for me? Now I'll pass it over to Michelle to teach you more about onboarding in the real world. I know I said teach. We're still wrong. We're still wrong. We're good. We're good.